Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So a couple of weeks ago, maybe about a month ago, I shared with you guys my entire blush collection. You guys seem to really love that. So I decided that today I'm going to share with you guys my entire highlighter collection. I thought I'd share with you guys the products that I have, my favorite highlighters and things like that. If you want to see my entire highlighter collection, then definitely keep on watching. Disclaimer, this is not me bragging about the makeup that I have or anything like that just want to put that out there so this is where I keep all of my highlighters your girl is a Libra so you know my drawers gotta be organized like this like they have to be organized if they're not I just I don't know what I would do if my drawers were not organized we're gonna go ahead and just start I'm gonna push it back a little bit so I can start here the thing with Alex 9 drawers is that of course once you pull the drawer all the way out you can't really get back here unless you like really big. I do have highlighters. Well, I don't have that many back there, but yeah, this is the majority of the highlighters, the ones that I'm always pulling from. So we're going to start off with these right here. I have these three highlighters from Beauty Bay. So you guys know I love Beauty Bay's highlighters. My absolute favorite highlighter from Beauty Bay is this one. This is in the shade Beam. I know you guys are probably tired of me talking about this highlighter, but this is this is why I love it. It is so gorgeous. It looks kind of light on camera because I have my ring light up as bright as almost possible, but it is just so stunning. And then we also have oops, oh my god, I have to be careful because I this is a replacement highlighter because the other one cracked all over the place. This one from Beauty Bay is the shade Glaze. It has like a pinkish kind of reflect to it, which is really, really pretty. And then this last one from Beauty Bay is the shade Trophy, and this one's a little bit more golden. Very stunning. Then I have four highlighters from MAC. So this first highlighter is from the new, well, not new anymore, but this is from the 2020 Holiday Collection. This is in the shade Flare for the Dramatic, and it is so beautiful. I love this highlighter so much. It is so pretty. 2020 was the year that I started getting into highlighters a lot, so and also MAC highlighters to be specific, but I just think this one is so stunning. It is currently on sale right now, so definitely go and check this one out. Then I also have this Skin Glazing Beaming Blush Extra Dimension Skin Finish. This kind of has like a pinkish kind of like shift to it, which is so pretty. This is kind of like a duochrome-y kind of highlighter it is so pretty then we have this one this one was my first mac highlighter i think first or second highlighter i want to say the tiana taylor one was my first one uh but yeah this one is in the shade oh darling which is so pretty i love the skin glazing i'm gonna need some room but i love the skin glazing highlighters and then we have the MAC X Tiana Taylor highlighter. You guys have seen me talk about this a lot on my channel. It is so pretty. This highlighter from Lunar Beauty that I got for free, which I have not played with yet, which I should, I need to. It's like, I don't know what I'm going to use this color for. It's so dark. Maybe eyeshadow or something, but it is such a really pretty highlighter. But I don't know, maybe inner corner highlight or something, not sure. It kind of blends in with my skin, to be honest. Huh, I don't know. But I love the packaging of this. This is absolutely beautiful. Do you guys see how it like glistens? This is so pretty and it's really heavy. So I definitely want to check out more highlighters from Lunar Beauty. Then I have this highlighter from KKW. This is the only KKW highlighter I own. I got this on sale, I think for like $10, which was really nice. This is called Glitz and Glam. I really thought this was going to be a much bigger highlighter. So that's why I'm really glad I got it on sale. But it is a really pretty champagne-y kind Kind of color oh my god it kind of looks like that beauty bay highlighter that i love so much but it is really pretty i need a makeup wipe because i am already running out of room i didn't think i was gonna swatch all of this stuff i really love these highlighters a lot i don't buy a highlighter unless i feel like i'm really gonna love it or i'm gonna get a lot of use out of it so all of these highlighters i definitely rotate through and love all of them I did do a bit of a declutter at the end of 2020 and got rid of all the highlighters that I don't like um, or never really picked up in hopes that someone else would get a lot more use out of it. So back 
here <laughs> way back here it's so hard to get you guys oh my gosh i have this highlighter from glam light this is the this was in what foodie box it was in a foodie box i can't remember which one but it is a purple highlighter i do have quite a bit of colored highlighters in here just in case i want to do some monochromatic looks on my channel i personally love colored highlighters i know a lot of people don't like them as much but i love them because you never know when you're gonna need them moving on to this row right here i have all of my fenty literally only in this row is my fenty highlighters and there's nothing else behind this last highlight right here so the first highlighter from fenty i have is called ruby riches now i don't really know why this is in here because this is technically a blush so i am going to show it to you guys anyways but i use this as a blush i don't know why I, yeah oh yeah this is a blush oh nope she goes she goes down here she's going in there all right well now it gets me more room i <laughs> In this little row now i can like i don't have to struggle to get back here this one is the duo kilowatt foil highlighter in the shades mimosa sunrise and sangria sunset and definitely definitely love these these are so pretty these are very unique to my collection i love having really really unique highlighters in my collection because like i said you never know when you're going to use them for the summertime best believe this highlighter is coming out to play then we have what a brat which i also wanted to use oh my god this is so pretty oh this is so pretty i just got this recently but oh my gosh that is absolutely stunning then we have seven day wines and poolside we have Sandcastle and Mint Mojito. These names are so cute. Rihanna does such a beautiful job naming her highlighters. Or just naming her products in general. But I love the Fenty highlighters. Then we have the shade Chills. This one is really unique as well. It's like a bluish kind of reflect to it, which is really stunning. Then we have Trophy Wife. This one was my first Fenty highlighter. Everyone went crazy over this and I remember when I bought this I was in Boston I got it as a birthday present for myself a couple years ago. I think 2017 or 2018. I can't remember But trophy wife was like the highlighter. Everyone was talking about it Everyone was talking about this highlighter Then we have metal moon, which is very very unique. This is like a white highlighter that I just it's really pretty because it has like a yellowy kind of shift to it it's really pretty it does remind me of the moon which is why i really like this highlighter this is one of those highlighters that gets less used in my collection but it makes a really gorgeous inner corner highlight and lastly for fenty blushes i have the shades afternoon snack and mo honey i love this highlighter this is my favorite everyday fenty highlighter I realized that this is the only normal, <laughs> traditional highlighter color I have from Fenty, which is crazy because I thought that I had almost all of the highlighters, but I don't, which is crazy. Like, I have a lot. I have enough. But as far as, like, normal, everyday highlights, this is that highlighter here. There's another one I do want to pick up if I ever catch it on sale, but most of these highlighters I got at during boxy pop-up which you guys know like boxy pop-up is like you get 80 90 percent off so i believe i got most of these for 12 dollars, which was really crazy because regular price is 32 or 34 depending on the highlighter so but yeah that's all the highlighters i have here in this row now we're moving on to this row right here oh i use all of these highlighters this is my most used row over here this has my absolute favorite highlighters in the entire world besides the beauty bay even though beauty bay is over here i kind of made it a little thing where i did like the rounded highlighters here and then i have the Fenty highlighters here, and then I have the square highlighters over here. If you guys catch my drift, you know what I mean. Okay, so you guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about these highlighters, but these are the Nabla Skin Glazing Highlighters. Love this one. This one is my newest addition from Nabla. This is in the shade Privilege. Um, I just got this one recently. I got it on sale for like $12, which is nice. Couldn't pass it up. But this one kind of has like a pinkish kind of shift to it. 
Then I have the shade Lucent Jungle. Oh my god, so stunning. Do you guys see that reflect? Lucent Jungle right here. And then lastly, we have the shade Amnesia, which I'm definitely going to hit pan on this year. I just know I am. Oh my god, I'm like already ruining the words in this highlighter. But then we have Amnesia, which is the one I use the absolute most. Then I have my two Kylie highlighters. So this one is called Cheers Darling. I really love her highlighters. This one's also new. I got this for $10 recently. And it is very pretty. Oh my god, my hand is wet. I'm trying to put it... Okay. Very pretty. It looks kind of icy on camera because I have my ring light turned up as bright as possible but it's really it's golden in person then we have the kylie x grinch highlighter this one's called littlest of who's this one has like a greenish kind of shift to it which i really love that's what i love most about this highlighter so whenever i do a green eyeshadow look i go in with this greenish highlighter so I have one Juvia's Place powder highlighter, and this is in the shade Volume 2. I used to be obsessed with this highlighter. I need to pull this out some more. I just stopped using it. I don't know why, but it is really stunning. I have this new highlighter I just got yesterday, and it came in the mail. This is from Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Skin Glazing All Over Skin Enhancer Skin Gloss Highlighter. <laughs> that was a really long name. Um, and I got the shade Copper Light. This is a really unique highlighter because it is kind of like a gloss. And it's very different. It's so different to anything I have in my collection. It's just a glossy type of highlight. I haven't used it yet, but I'm really excited to try it out. I think this will be really pretty for the summertime when I do those less coverage kind of looks. But I'm really excited to have that because I really don't have any other highlighter like that. Nothing that's glossy like that. Okay, and then we have this highlighter from Wet n Wild, which is amazing. We have this Steve Laurent Jelly Highlighter, which I got for literally $3 on Boxy Pop-Up. This highlighter, oh my god, if I can get it open. Cash, can you open this for me? <laughs> He's over there sleeping. Okay, there we go. This is so unique. This is literally a jelly highlighter, which is so crazy to me. Like, little as dab gets on your finger. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Now, this highlighter is a little bit too light for me, so I like to use it as like a little nose highlight. You like a little glazed donut? I have two more highlighters in here. And these last two are from ColourPop. This is the Super Shock Highlighters from the Villains Collection. So I have the Ursula Highlighter, which is purple, which is really cute. Love this. I'm not sure if this is dried out or not. I don't think it is, but it looks kind of bad. So I might have to let this go really soon, maybe now. I don't feel like I've had these for that long, though. But it still swatches and looks really beautiful on the arm but something about how it looks in the pan is just not sitting right with me i got these right when this collection came out so i don't think anything is wrong with these highlighters it's just kind of like bumpy and like i don't know i don't know and then the other highlighter is the cruella highlighter this one is kind of like a goldeny type of shift to it it kind of has like a little bit of red in it or some type of shift to it but it is very pretty all right so then lastly for highlighters loose highlighters you guys know i don't really have loose highlighters so this is all i have the first one i have is from physicians formula this is the butter highlighter in the shade iridescence i'm obsessed with purple highlighters because i tend to do a lot more purple looks in it this kind of reminds me of the ColourPop highlighter but this one is Oh my god, it does. So if I got rid of the other one, I could keep this one. But yeah, so this one is Iridescence from Physicians Formula. For loose highlighters, I have this Jaclyn Hill highlighter. This is in the shade Megawatt. This one's a little bit too... Oh wow, it's like all over the place. This one's a little bit too deep for me. But I love these. Morphe puts this back on sale. And they have lighter shades. I want to get those. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of loose highlighters. But for some reason, this highlighter is... Look at that. It is so blinding and unreal. 
Jacqueline really killed it with her highlighters. Then I have these two highlighters from Juvia's Place. I have the Nubian highlighter and the Royalty 2 highlighter. I love both of these. These are the highlighters I forget that I have, but they are really pretty. And I've decluttered a lot of loose highlighters, but for some reason, those stayed. Lastly, I have this highlighter from Natasha Denona. This needs to go. I do not like this at all. You guys, if you guys haven't seen like my first impressions like review on this, um, I feel like it's already low-key trying to form hard pan and I've only used it once. But that's what these look like. I don't like these. It just looks like glitter on the face and I really do want to declutter this because I don't like it. Okay, so that was my entire highlighter collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is a little bit different than what I normally do, but um, I love filming like little collection videos. And yeah, so that's literally all my highlighters that I have. I am definitely working on doing a like complete makeup collection tour this year, but I'm trying to get everything together. Hopefully I'm gonna have my beauty room this year fingers crossed so i'm gonna end this video right here and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you guys are interested in any other specific collection videos definitely let me know down below in the comments because you know i would i would be really happy to do so but yeah so i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys